student SSH stands for secure shell. Okay, the full form of SSH is secure shell. It is a network communication protocol that enables two computers to come to speed with HTTP protocol, which is uh, and share data. It means whenever you want to share the data, which protocol is used? Secure protocol. Okay, uh, secure shell. So this is used in with the HTTPS protocol. HTTP protocol. So it is uh, it is a network communication protocol that enable two computers to communicate. Okay, and share data. So whenever we will use SSH, uh, SSH it means now. Uh, uh, we can share the data. Uh, the protocol which is required is SSH. Next is, next protocol is SFTP. So SFTP stands for Secure File Transfer Protocol. It is also called uh, SSH, in a uh, short form, we can say. SSH file transfer protocol. SSH file transfer protocol. It is another name of SFTP protocol. This is again a network protocol for assessing, transferring, and managing file on remote system. Okay. Suppose your files are saved in another computer in remote area or remote computer, a computer that is far away from you. If you want to control or manage files, the which protocol is used? Secure file transfer protocol. Otherwise, FTP protocol is there, file transfer protocol. By using that, we can download or upload the files in server or from server. So FTP protocol say a file ko transfer kar sakte ho, uh, server mein or ya server se file ko download kar sakte ho, apne client computer mein. So this is useful when uh, we want to uh, update the websites. So web server is different from client computer. We can upload any file. So, but secure file transfer protocol is secure. Clear? Here are some security uh, precautions are there. So it is uh, here. It is useful for assessing, transferring, and managing file on remote computer. F. SFTP was developed by Internet Engineering Task Force to secure, uh, securely transfer and manage files to a TCP network. So whenever we are transferring the data over TCP IP network, the SFTP provides us secure networking. And it was developed by IETF. IETF stands for Internet Engineering Task Force. Next protocol is SCP. Okay, SCP. Okay, students, SCP stands for Secure Copy Protocol. It means uh, it is a, uh, it is a means of uh, securely transferring computer files between local host, remote host. Or between two remote hosts, uh, it is based on secure shell protocol SCP, and uh, so these are the different. Uh, uh, next one is Telnet. Okay, students. Uh, Telnet is a protocol that is used for uh, for assessing the remote computer. For example, one computer is far away from you. For uh, you, if you want to assess that computer. There is a one protocol that is called Telnet. For example, uh, any desk. With the help of any desk, you can assess any computer that is far away from you. And this protocol is come under uh, this uh, app is or uh, this uh, software is come under Telnet. Okay. So in network protocol that allow a user on one computer to log in into another computer that is a part of same network or it uh, through the internet. Okay. So when you are connected with the internet, you are part of a big network. So these are the different uh, protocols which we discussed. SSH full form is 
which one secure shell second one is sftp secure file transfer protocol ftp file transfer protocol scp secure co copy protocol telnet this is a protocol is used for uh, uh, controlling the remote computers assessing the remote computer computer that is far away from you SMTP already I have discussed simple mail transfer protocol yesterday I have discussed this TCP IP I have already discussed so these are the different protocols of networking so what is the protocol it is these set of rules and regulation for communication well next is services available on internet so whenever you are using internet you can retrieve the information you can search the information you can locate the sites using search engines or finding people on net or kisi bhi person ko internet pe find kar sakte ho no information retrieval how can access the information this is with the help of a search engine and yesterday i discussed in a computer system there are different search engines like google here we can uh, type any searching word like uh, for example uh, school and then press enter key so here is number of websites that contain the word school will display on the screen these are the hyperlinks click on any hyperlink that particular link will appear in new tab or in same tab clear so this is your search engine so what is the meaning of search engine any student what is search engine yes bhumika what is search engine yes quickly give the answer beta search engines i am going to discuss that yes sir you know what is the meaning of search engine no any answer now listen network uh, here is search engine search engine it is a program that search to a database of website web pages or websites for particular information तो सर्च इंजन क्या करता है कि हमारे पास इन द इंटरनेट देयर इज अ बिग डेटाबेस ऑफ ऑल द वेबसाइट्स व्हेन वी मेक अ सर्च दैट सर्चिंग वर्ड इज मैच्ड विद दिस डेटाबेस टॉपिक एंड जो भी डेटाबेस में से वो टॉपिक जो सर्चिंग के साथ मैच करता है वो स्क्रीन के ऊपर डिस्प्ले हो जाता है ठीक है तो यहां पे डिफरेंट सर्च इंजन्स आर नंबर 1 इज गूगल दैट इज फेमस वन Bing, it is a product of Microsoft. Yahoo, search. Then, ASK, ask. AOL, wow. These are the different search engines. But famous one is Google. Next is a. Uh, Search engine has three parts, or you can say these are three different elements. Three elements 
of passengers. The first is for spider, spiders, or or boats or agents. These are the different names. Famous one is spider. Second one is indexing software and database. Number three, there is a search algorithm. So one by one, I'm going to discuss the, what is the exact meaning of a spider indexing software and search algorithm. So with the help of one diagram, I am going to show this. Now, uh, with the help of one diagram, I am going to show the search engine, the working of search engine. For example, uh, I have three different uh, web servers, okay? And in these web servers, I know that there are different uh, websites are saved. Suppose in a first web server, I have a poser. Uh, uh, 10 websites are there. And in the same way, in second server, 20 websites are there. Then in third server, there are 15 websites are there. And uh, in next server, I have a total 20 websites. Now, in these websites, different uh, in these servers, different websites are there. So there is one element of search engine that is called spider. It will move from one web when when one web server to another web server, then third web server, fourth web server. It will one by one. It move from one one web server to another web server, and extract the summary of all the websites. After extracting the information, it creates one database. So sir, spider ka meaning kya beta? Spider is just checking uh, different websites in your, uh, from different servers, different servers means different websites search karta or जो आपके पास सर्चिंग वेबसाइट सेकंड इज इंडेक्सिंग सॉफ्टवेयर वो क्या करते हैं कि जो आपके पास स्पाइडर ने इंफॉर्मेशन रिसीव की है उसको एक डेटाबेस में सेव कर लेता है दिस इज अ वन डेटाबेस इस डेटाबेस में डिफरेंट वेबसाइट्स विद देयर यूआरएल फॉर एग्जांपल यहां पे एक बड़ी सी लिस्ट बन जाएगी ठीक है तो इस लिस्ट में आप यू कैन Store the different website like, uh, for example, here is a www dot swamisandas dot com. Okay, and what what is the uh, main objective or motto of that com uh, that you uh, uh, that website? Okay, with that, this is a school website. It is in Punjab. It is in JP Nagar. तो ये पूरे के पूरे वर्ल्ड की जितनी फाइल्स से जितनी यूआरएल्स हैं ऑल दीज यूआरएल्स आर ऑल दीज एड्रेसेस आर सेव्ड 
in one database along with description and last one element is searching algorithm when we use search any word that searching word is matched with database and the similar type of information displayed on the screen so there are three main component or three main elements of search engine these are spider indexing software searching algorithm spider ka kaam alag alag server mein move karna hai aur information ko retrieve karna hai and what is the meaning of spider indexing software it create database in that database we store different uh, addresses email uh, the website addresses along with description and in searching algorithm it find out the searching word match the searching word with dbms software and find out the matching word and uh, matching you uh, the addresses and display on the screen students any doubt in this raghav player yes sir yes bhumika sir ek bar indexing software wala fir se bata do ye dekhna bhi indicate discuss karo beta i know uh, tell me how many websites are in uh, three servers 10 plus 20 30 30 plus 15 45 45 plus 20 65 this is an example of only four server पूरे वर्ड में तो कितने सर्वर होंगे ठीक है तो ये मेरे पास जो 65 वेबसाइट्स है वो स्पाइडर uh, एक सर्वर से दूसरे सर्वर में मूव करता है और इंफॉर्मेशन रिट्रीव करता है ठीक है वो इंफॉर्मेशन को इंडेक्सिंग सॉफ्टवेयर एक डेटाबेस में सेव कर देता है उसमें आपके पास 65 फाइव वेबसाइट के नेम होंगे और उसकी डिस्क्रिप्शन होगी आई एम गिविंग टेकिंग वन एग्जाम्पल ओनली सिक्सटी फाइव वेबसाइट ठीक है अदरवाइज there are millions of websites out there bhumika clear okay aur jo aapke paas searching algorithm hai jab aap search engine mein in google you type uh, like uh, school okay so your school word is match with dbms uh, detail to so ek ek website ke sath जितनी भी वेबसाइट्स वहां पे होंगी सभी के साथ मैचिंग होगी और उसके बाद जो मैच सर्चिंग वर्ड्स मैच करेंगे वो स्क्रीन के ऊपर वो लिंक्स डिस्प्ले होंगे कंसेप्ट इज क्लियर यस राघव एनी डाउट हियर okay so in short spider is a small program that jump from one server to another server and fetch the data from these servers regarding different websites searching uh, then indexing software create a database that contain the information given by spider okay and searching algorithm will display the list of matching word With the uh, the matching websites with the matching word, जो भी matching word आप search engine में fill करते हैं उसको उसकी matching हो जाती है आपके पास database के साथ. So next is there are some searching tips. Okay, these are searching tips for better search. So I am going to discuss these searching tips. number 1 don't do not ask question don't type like who is the prime minister of india type only prime minister of india so search your search engines are not just like a human being they they are they are not giving the response just like a uh, human being so don't put any question in place of putting the questions you can fill the searching words like uh, why you are filling who is the prime minister of india simple fill prime minister of india 
second one. Wrong. Your query, your query in quotes, single quotes or double quotes. ठीक है? तो जब भी आपने कोई query put करनी है, उसको single quotes में या double quotes में लेने लेना है. For example, if you are uh, typing good of small things. ठीक है सॉरी गोड ऑफ गोड ऑफ स्मॉल थिंग तो अगर आप इसको ऐसे ही टाइप कर दोगे तो सर्चिंग कैसे होगी पहले गोड की होगी देन ऑफ की होगी देन स्मॉल की होगी और थिंग्स की इट मींस टोटल फाइव टोटल फोर सर्चिंग विल बी देयर इन प्लेस ऑफ दैट यू कैन यूज डबल कोर्स लाइक दिस और सिंगल कोर्स और You can like do like this. Use hyphen. Okay, this is a complete sentence. Or you can also use semicolon like this. Okay, when you are searching any sentence, so don't give sentence as it is. Next one, number three. Use wild card. Wild card is this one. Okay, a star symbol is there. Ah, uh, this is used for ah uh, this is ah uh, wild card. If you have no any idea about uh, your searching words, you can type like this. For example, if you type I N and then the symbol, it means searching will be of India. इंडोनेशिया इंडियन क्लियर तो जब आप किसी सर्च के बारे में आपको क्लियर नहीं है तो आप इस तरीके से यूज करके कोड कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिंबल इट मीन्स डायरेक्ट डायरेक्शन डायरेक्टिव ठीक है ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स विल बी सर्च वाइल्ड कार्ड नंबर फोर टाइप इन लोअर केस Because whenever a lower case is not a uh, word specific, for example, if you type India, so it will also search India in small letter, India in capital letter, India in mixture of data like this. Okay, but whenever you type in capital letter, it means your searching must contain the India in capital letter. Clear? So use lower case match are not the uh, these are not case sensitive. Your case is not case sensitive, but you, when you type in capital letter, that is case sensitivity is there. Clear? Next is use a plus symbol. Plus symbol means this one plus symbol. For must appear situation. For example, you want to search on Asia and you also need that India be there. So, what will you do? Asia, Asia plus India. So, in that, India be there. And if you are using minus sign. ठीक है यू आर गोइंग टू यूज माइनस साइन इट मीन्स यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सक्लूड इट ठीक है यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू एड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर टाइपिंग एशिया माइनस इंडिया इट मीन्स यू वॉन्ट टू सर्च ऑन एशिया बट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू इंक्लूड इंडिया इन सर्च सो दीज आर सम सर्चिंग टेक्निक्स यू कैन यूज दीज टिप्स यस एनी डाउट इन दिस Madam, okay. Next is, uh, in your syllabus, 
here is finding people on net so uh, we can also find the people on net with the help of different websites okay so there is uh, here is finding people on net there are different uh, there are different uh, web uh, websites that provide us the information about any person okay for example there is a www.123people.com clear so there are different websites uh, like uh, www.addresses.com uh, then there is a website uh, www. i am typing the name of uh, some websites examples so these are some websites you can log in in uh, that website you can uh, so in some websites you will have to create your id to create your id then log in in that then you in a searching type the searching person name or address or something else okay then the searching uh, uh, in this of uh, searching people will be there and you can find out the person Whose address or whose details you want to find out? So, any doubt in this? Next is so information retrieval. We have already discussed that you can search on any website. You can search on internet. Search on any information. Search on any website. आप सर्च इंजन यूज कर सकते हो आप फाइंडिंग पीपल ऑन नेट आप यूज कर सकते हो नाउ आर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम सर्विसेज ऑफ इंटरनेट दीज आर चैटिंग ईमेल वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग ई लर्निंग ई बैंकिंग ई शॉपिंग रिजर्वेशन ई गवर्नेंस ई ग्रुप एंड सोशल नेटवर्किंग वेबसाइट and the last topic of your syllabus is mobile technologies like sms uh, mms uh, 3g 4g okay now web services first web service we are going to discuss here email so email stand for electronic mail so it is a electronic message that's why it is called email it stands for electronic mail it is the most widely used tool to send messages electronically okay but for emails email id is required it is compulsory it is unique it means if you want to send an email you will have to create email address and in email address like uh, abc at the rate yahoo dot com there are three things in this email id one is number one different parts of email id of email id number one username here username is abc this is the unique name given to any person okay so it is called user name okay unique name second one it is domain name for the 
host server the website that is providing the email facility like yahoo.com it is a domain name and third one is at the rate sign this is a separator okay this is a separator between uh, the username and uh, the host name ya domain name okay so any doubt in this the different email service provider these are uh, i am giving here the list of a different uh, email service provider hotmail then gmail yahoo reddit mail okay these are some examples of uh, uh, email service providers then now tell me any doubt in this